What is happening, people? Welcome back to Pokemon Sword. We are about to check in, and uh, hopefully we can get that opening ceremonies thing going. Good evening, and welcome to the Budu Drop In. Look at the little Budu on the table. I love him so much. Must be one of the Pokemon trainers entering the gym challenge. You better believe it, guy. Yes, young Master Hayden. I see that. The league has a bo has booked a room for you, and if I might, thank you for helping us out of a sticky situation with those hooligans earlier. Those guys are pretty ridiculous. I think it's hilarious that they're just like a fan club of uh, Marnie or whatever her name is. Hope you have a pleasant stay here with us. Sleep well. You know what? Thank you. It will be a pleasant stay. And uh, so apparently we get healed up, as indicated by the little sounds. Oh, how's practicing his uh, his pitching? Apparently the next morning. We didn't even get to see our hotel room. What the hell? Morning. So this is it. Now my legend really begins. Watch out, Hayden. I'll beat you to Moto Stoke Stadium. This guy is always in a damn race. Like, what, what's going on here? All right, well. So we're going straight back to the stadium. The day is finally here. It's like Christmas morning. We're about to go to the opening ceremonies. Gym Challenger. The opening ceremony is starting soon. Please allow me to escort you to the gym stadium. Ah, uh, sure. I mean, it's not really too far, but that's fine. Only because you got some sweet shades, though, bro. Made it to the stadium entrance. Please hurry to the opening ceremony. All right, let's go. Let's go see what is going on. Quite the extravagant building. I love it. All right. I assume we're just going to talk to you, Challenger Hayden, wasn't it? We must ask the the gym challengers wear their uniforms for all official events. Hell yeah, we get to toss on the 69. The opening ceremony marks the beginning of the gym challenge. So you know what that means. That's right. I need you to get changed as well. Oh yeah. Do they, like, give me a jersey? How's this work? <laughs> yes! Check me out! Number 69. Wonderful. You look sharp as a pin in that 69 there. That really is the number for you. <laughs> it sure is. Now we're ready at last for the opening ceremony for this year's gym challenge. Excited to see how this is going to go. Oh, yeah. Honestly, this is what I always pictured as a kid when I was playing Pokemon Red and Blue. Doing a gym, just in my imagination as a kid, I always imagined a huge stadium full of a massive crowd. This is awesome to see this actually come to fruition. I am Rose, chairman of the Pokemon League. What is happening, guy? I bet this guy's going to be fucking evil. Everyone watching from home have all been waiting for this big moment. I'm calling it right now. This guy's evil. He looks like he might be. It is my pleasure to announce that the final... That finally the Gala region, yep, okay, that, that, that didn't even click anything, I can't read. Yes, the gym challenge. Participants must offend the eight gym leaders, defend, defeat, and <laughs> gather the eight gym badges to prove their skills as a trainer. Very cool. Only the most worthy will have the honor of challenging the greatest champion in history. I like the logo behind him too, that's actually pretty sweet. I wish there was voice acting, that's the one thing I think would really help this out a lot. Uh, the gym leaders are going to show themselves. We're about to see all the gym leaders, apparently. This is kind of cool. A little introduction to the entire league. This should be sweet. Oh, the slow-mo steps. This is hype. The fighting farmer. Here's grass-type expert, Milo. Okay, he's fighting, but also the grass. Raging Wave, Master of Water Types, Nessa. We've seen a lot of these people from the trailers. Everburning Man of Fire, Fire-type veteran, Kabu. The man looks fucking scary. I do not want to mess with that guy. Gala Karate Prodigy, nobody's better with fighting types than Bay. B-E-A, Bea. Master of Fantastic Theater, Charming Fairy-type user, Opal. Jesus, looks like a damn witch. The Hard Rock Crusher, Welcome the Rock-type Master, Gordy. All right, Gordy. And last but not least, the Tamer of Dragons. Raihan, the top gym leader. Nice, this is a dragon guy. Unfortunately, we're missing one, but these are the gym leaders that we in the Gala region are proud to call our own. Interesting. So, I think the character designs look pretty cool, other than the lady that looks like a witch with her crazy-ass nose, but maybe that's just me. Oh, and then your boy coming in. So we have seen that exact scene before in some of the trailers they've announced. Looks like we're about to play some damn soccer. This is a really cool scene though. I like this a lot. Hitting me right in the feels, Pokemon. Look at how much Pokemon 
has progressed through the years. That's wild. All right, well, I guess that was it. Standing there on the pitch in the stadium in front of everyone. That was honestly a little bit short. I wish they would have gone a little bit more in depth. Really no words for it, but I can barely contain myself. My heart's racing. You've made it at last, Hop. And you too, Hayden. Sure have. So you're the two trainers our champion endorsed himself. Welcome. It's a delight to meet you. I'm Rose, of course. What's this? I see you both already possess Dynamax bands. How wonderful. It seems you two have been led here by the guiding light of the wishing stars. By the way, it was my wonderful company that invented those Dynamax bands, you know? Nice. I dare say this gym's... This year's gym challenge is looking to be an absolute blast. Very good. Very good indeed. That means the whole Galar region is in for an excitement. I like how the whole thing is kind of based around a league like type of format. It seems like I like the way the direction this is going. The gym challenge is an excellent opportunity to show off your Dynamax Pokemon. All about the tournaments. Now, I'm terribly sorry, but there's some urgent business I need to attend to, so I must be on my way. This guy's for sure evil. Gotta be evil. Best of luck to both of you. Nice. All right. The chairman certainly seems to be in high spirits. Now listen closely, you two. You both only start, just started your path as trainers. If you want to win, you need to do more than just train your Pokemon. You need to train yourselves, too. Wise words, guy. Let's do it, Hayden. You know the Gym Challenge has a set order that you've got to visit the gyms in, right? First is in Turf Fields. Uh, to get there, we need to head to Route 3. All right. The Gym Challenge is an event which aspiring trainers travel around the Gala region to try to collect gym badges for eight of its gyms. To earn a gym badge, you have to complete that gym's mission and also defeat its gym leader. Ooh, so there's a mission involved as well, not just a battle. Well, that should be pretty cool. All right, well, we're just going to head on out of here. And looking at it, Route 3 is off to the left. Um, it looks like we can go to the right as well. Maybe we should check out... Check out that way first. We haven't gone that way. Challenger Hayden, the chairman, asked me to deliver this gift to you. Got me a gift, huh? A gift, such a wonderful thing. From the chairman, such a wonderful man. Ahem, excuse me. Gift is access to the flying taxis. They allow you to, in a word, fly. So no HMs in this game. As we've already seen, you have access to buy the TM for Surf. Uh, so it's going to be kind of similar as they've kind of gotten rid of HMs in the past. If you use the flying taxi service, one of their well-trained Corviknight will have you zipping across the Gala region to your desired destination in no time at all. Just open the menu, uh, the X menu, to use the town map and choose where you want to go. That is nice and easy. If it's all right with you, I'll read a segment from the Flying Taxi's user manual. Press the X button and select the town map option to choose the place you'd like to go to. Anyway, your next goal should be Turfield. Isn't that right, Hayden? When traveling to a new place, it's best to think, or best to get there on your own with two legs, don't you think? I suppose. All right, so we can fly, but, ooh, damn, this guy's got his onyx out. They're all wishing me good luck. Can I? We well, can go to the right, so let's see what happens over here. It's probably just going to be a dead end. Um... There's a Corviknight over here, though. Yep, not going to let us pass, unfortunately. Corviknight is a Pokemon that flies all about, carrying people where they want to go. But even they get tuckered out. That boy is tired. Honestly, a cooler Skarmory. We love that thing. I can't wait till we can actually catch one of our own. But we are going to head to the left. Excuse me, guy with your big-ass Onyx. Give it your best shot. Yeah, so cool. <laughs> Everybody seems pretty stoked on me. So there's like a garage right here. Pretty sweet Lapras painting thing they got. I dig it. The gym leaders battle each other separately from the gym challenge in order to determine who is stronger. Nice. Well, what do you think about the secret hideout? We want to make a new gym. Secret hideout? My Minchino's gone missing. What should I do? Ooh, we got ourselves a little side quest, huh? You'll help me look for Minchino. Thank you so much. Really likes to play in the water. Also likes the sound of whistling. But it's hiding somewhere where there's lots of water. Can't think of a place... There's lots of water here in Motostoke. Uh, there's a weird cry that sounds like Morp. So if you hear that, try whistling. Okay, so we can whistle. Uh, so I guess if we find any water, we'll be able to check that out. Also, uh, the team is healed up. We are going to go ahead and swap Wooloo to the front. This thing has not gotten the love it deserves. Wooloo is an absolute legend that uh, needs some appreciation. So we're putting that thing in front. It's pretty low level, but I'm sure we'll be able to... Ooh, the Silk Scarf is actually going to be able to help us out as well. Let's actually... Give that to young Snowball. You're going to look beautiful in this thing, Wooloo. We are going to get rid of your Orenberry. We will give you this here. Silk Scarf. Raises the power of normal type moves, which is nice. Uh, Wooloo being normal type, obviously. Should help us out. I guess we could teach that thing Swift, too, if it can learn it. Maybe we should actually do that. Let's go ahead and take a look at the bag. We don't have very many TMs. We only have Swift. Snowball cannot learn it. 
the only one on the team that can't. We're going to save Swift. Probably not going to really teach that anyway. Uh, we're going to head down because this seems like might be something interesting over here. Might as well talk to some folks. Once I get my new hairstyle, I'm going to stop by Ritami. Uh, the Pokemon Center to update my league card. Nice. Ooh, got the Why Not playing Hopscotch over here. That's actually pretty cool. Hold on, we got to talk to this lad. What's up? Playing Hopscotch with my Why Not and my younger sister. And you know Hopscotch, you have to jump your way through the court. Cool. Hmm, what do we have over here? This guy looks shady. It's fine and dandy to have battles in the city, but you need to make sure you don't get in anyone's way. That guy's like, is that a threat? People can change whenever they want. They just need to want to change. Maybe this old man can make a change too. Pokemon need PP or PowerPoint to perform moves. They sure do. What do we have here? Got ourselves a little shop we might as well check out. What's happening? Trains just keep running on rails. Oh, it's the train station. Yeah, obviously. Well then. Uh, we don't really... Oh my god, we can sit on the chairs. What an absolute pleasure. Remember the days when you could not sit? Okay, so that's just the... The lift, we're going to head up this way. And uh, this guy just straight up teleported out of nowhere. The gym challenge. The gym challenge. I think I saw a sparkling thing over here. Right here. That, that's a hidden item. Sure is. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. It is a Poke Doll. Uh, so they seem to be pretty fond of Poke Dolls in this game, which is interesting. We've got Hop waiting for us over here. There you are. I've been waiting. Let's have a battle, you and me. Get a bit of training. All right. Could ask him. Could have asked him why, but it's fine. Got to stay keener than anyone else if we want to steal the spotlight from our rivals. So let's do it. We've battled Hop quite a few times. Still don't know how many times I got to teach you this lesson, Hop. He's going to lead off with his Wooloo. We got our Wooloo. Just way too much wool for one battle. <laughs> so we should probably switch the hell out of here. Keep up, mate. This is our chance to see if we're up to the gym challenge. So his is level 11. This is going to be a long fight if we stay in. So we are going to switch. Let's just go right into... Uh, I kind of want to use Tootsie. Let's go into Tootsie. We can go ahead and set up a Hone Claws at least. Um, Wooloo doesn't roll out, does it? It just, it just rolls when it uses freaking tackle. It's fine. I'm sure this thing gets rolled out at some point, though. Alright, so we have our Oran Berry there. So we can go ahead and Hone Claws. We can even do it a couple times if we wanted to. Eat that Oran Berry. Then Berry's gonna come in clutch. Get that attack boosted, and then it growls at us. Really? Why would you do that to me, you asshole? Well, we are just gonna go ahead and pack, uh, Power Trip Boost the strength and attacks the target. Boasted strength. More user stats are raised, the greater the move's power. So power trip could, just, could be paired nicely with Hone Claws, but since we got freaking growled, we're just going to peck away at this thing start getting some damage. It does do a decent amount, too. Kind of wanted Tootsie to just get a nice little sweep going, but it's fine. Is Wooloo's just going to freaking growl at me? So be it. I really wonder what level Wooloo evolves at. It's probably relatively high. I'm going to say, like, probably around, like, 26 it evolves. This looks like a level 26 evolver. One more peck. Almost does it. It's going to growl me again. So we are going to switch out after... This Wooloo goes down. Did I didn't even know. It. No, he still only has three Pokemon, so... Oh my god, now he's going to use a potion. Well, luckily it's just a regular potion. It's only going to get it to... Eh, above half still. And then we freaking growled, so now peck's not doing much at all. And guess what then, buddy? We're freaking switching into Dexter. You're making this more difficult than it needs to be. Hop. Hippity hop. I really want Dexter to freaking evolve too. Need to hurry up and grind this thing up. More growls, but that is fine. We are a special attacker. I'm pretty stoked that we ended up getting Tim and Nature on my first Sobble. Not bad. That's something I feel like people would reset for. We did get a critical hit, which knocks this thing out. And uh, landing a critical hit like that, you're pretty tough when, it, when you get serious. I wonder if that was like a predetermined thing that that was supposed to be a crit. Swiper grows to level 12, wants to learn Snarl. We will learn Snarl. Uh, special dark move. We're just going to get rid of Tail Whip. We do have two dark type Pokemon on the team. We need to get rid of something. I do kind of like Swiper a lot though, so we'll probably keep him around. Anyway, next is the Score Bunny. Obviously, we're just going to stay in. One Water Pulse should do the trick. Look at how beautiful the background is. I really like this a lot. Level 14. It is higher level than me. It's going to tackle though. Love how when he tackles, he hits me with his foot. 
That would be called a kick, my friend. Water Pulse is going to do it. Typical. Should have known you'd mastered type matchups. Yeah, why would you send your fire type in? You've caught these Sobble hands too many times already, buddy. Everybody getting some levels here. Tootsie at 14. Cornelius 11. And next is the, the Rukadi. Um, what is state? What honestly just gonna stay in with Sobble? Backed into a corner. Got it all wrong, mate. Let's make my victory. Okay. Let's see the victory, boy. Um, so we're just gonna give this thing a water pulse. Just seems like the most effective route to victory here. Just continue to mash water pulse. Once Sobble evolves, we can kind of ease off this thing a little bit. But I really just need to get this thing to freaking evolve, because we haven't had an evolution yet. We do get the confusion, hit itself. Please, nope, it's gonna use Peck. It does break through. Also, I'm sure our Rookity is gonna evolve soon as well. One more attack here. I'm pretty positive he'll heal us up after this. If not, it was actually, we're right in front of a Poke Center. Just false alarm, we're good. Rookity goes down. And Hop has been defeated. I keep wanting to call him How for some reason. That was really good training. Looks like I'd better keep my guard up. Get ourselves a bunch of money. Just what I'd expect from my rival. You know what? I'll even give you one of my league cards. That's how good I think you did in that battle. Well, thanks, buddy. That means a lot to me, you know? Thank you for handing me air. Our gym battle... Okay, I'll, although the first gym leader will have challenges in a town way far from, off from here still, you better believe I'm going to keep on, keep on winning my way to that championship match. All right. So he does not heal us up, so we're just going to go ahead and use the old Poke Center. Fire up them friars. Get me healed up. Does that Nurse Joy look different? Why is her hair... I feel like her hair looks different, but... Definitely the same. Alright. The squad is healed. We're leaving Wulu in front. We definitely need to get that dude some damn usage. Alright. Back to business. You also notice at the top right there was an autosave option. I believe there is a way to turn that off, but I think that's actually pretty nice. Here we are at Route 3. If your precious Pokemon gets injured, don't forget to heal them up with a potion. You need antidotes to fix up poison. Just remember to stock up on items, and you won't have to visit the Pokemon Center so often. I thought it was going to give me something. We do have a hidden item over here. It is going to be a big mushroom. Uh, so we can sell that for a decent amount of money, which is cool. And what the hell is this thing? We got ourselves a new Pokemon, ladies and gentlemen. It's a Gossifleur. Uh, so this is something I think we were introduced to. I'm not really too familiar with this thing. Uh, it's level 14, though, which is nice. We're going to go ahead and give you a nice little tackle. Wooloo's already got Defense Curl, so we're set up for freaking Rollout if that ever happens. Cotton Down is its ability, which has a new ability, and it drops our speed, which is actually pretty nice. It is going to Sweet Scent. Very cool. So we're just going to tackle this thing a couple more times. It uses Sing now that it's faster because it dropped my freaking speed. Puts my ass to sleep. Why must he be like this? Well, uh, Snowball being asleep is annoying. Let's just talk a Pokeball at this thing. Let's see if we can keep the streak going where we've we've caught everything on the first try. This shouldn't, this should not work, but we're, <laughs> we're just gonna give it our best shot. Oh my God, every single time. You don't even need to weaken things. Just huck Pokeballs, man. Well, we got ourselves a Gossifleur. Which is pretty cool. Snowball goes to level 12, wants to learn Guard Split. We're just going to keep old moves. And let's see what this thing's all about. Uh, so it's a pure grass type. Anchors itself to the ground with its single leg, then basks in the sun. After absorbing enough sunlight, its petals spread it as it blooms brilliantly. Cool. Well, we're going to give you a nickname. Um, we're going to name you... Even though you're... Are you male? thing is a male. We're naming you Lily anyway. It just seems fitting. Uh, we will add this to our party as well. I do kind of just want to switch it up. This thing is a decently high level, so we'll actually get rid of our boy Gene here. Unfortunately, I think we're gonna... We're gonna choose the fox as our dark type. Sorry about that, mate. But uh, let's actually take a look at this thing. Also, there was a trubbish in the grass right there, which is kind of cool. Let's take a look at old Lily here. Check the summary, because why not? I actually like this thing's ability. Cotton Down seems pretty cool. It has Sing, Rapid Spin, Sweet Scent, and Razor Leaf. One thing to note about Rapid Spin, and this is actually really cool. Uh, you'll note it says, this also raises the user's speed stat. That is a buff to Rapid Spin, and that is going to make competitive 
super viable for rapid spin. First thing that comes to mind is Excadrill. Grabbing a speed boost is going to be insane after using a rapid spin. So there's a Trebuch over there. Also, what was the whistle button again? What, how do I... I really do not remember how to freaking whistle. I thought I just pressed, like, Y. But that busts out a whole new deal. Well, we got ourselves a Pokeball right here. There's another Gossifleur there. Three Heal Balls, which is kind of cool. Love us some Heal Balls. Oh, ran into... Hey! Got ourselves a Clink. And you know what we're going to do? I'm just going to freaking huck a Pokeball at this thing, too. Just to test it. If this catches, I will be very surprised. Actually, not really. Okay, it didn't. That was the first time we haven't caught something. It's going to use Charge. And that is fine. Wooloo is heckin' asleep here, so we should probably... Should probably just run back and heal. Snowball does have Runaway, so we can run away from freaking anything. We may be look we may be fat looking, but we fast. All right, just to go wake up, we're just gonna go to the Poke Center, considering it is literally just right here. Back to Moto Stoke. This place be looking pretty crazy. You can't get back there. There's look like looks like there's stuff to do back there in that like kind of alley area, but we cannot go there. All right, so we're gonna get healed up. I'm not sure if I want to use that Gossifleur thing. It seems like it's probably just more of like a support Pokemon. It kind of. Not really sure what to think about it, but we'll, we'll carry it around for now. I'm sure that in these next routes, we're going to get a lot of uh, opportunities to catch new stuff. So, quite exciting. Anyway, back to business. Wooloo staying in front. Definitely too low level, but we need to get this thing up somehow. So, we're keeping you there. All right, back to route three. Not seeing anything too different. Have ourselves a trainer here. You saw the opening ceremony, right? And you know what, why I'm excited and want to battle. Let's get it. All right, so Lass Ray has a Vulpix. Nice, we have not seen a Vulpix yet. This lady busting out the OG. Uh, Snowball probably can't do very much to this thing. That's level 12 as well. We'll tackle it and see how much we can do. With that Silk Scarf, we get a little bit of a boost. We can take quick attacks. We thick as hell. Oh, yeah. Tackle's doing a decent amount. We got this. Quick attack. Do you not have Ember? I feel like... Snowball should be weak to fire moves, just because this thing would absolutely <laughs> be engulfed in flames. Yep, there's the Ember. Uh, knocks us down to about half. That is fine, because one more tackle is going to do it. Down goes your Vulpix. Good job, Lulu. Cornelius growing a level, and that's all you got. I lost, but I'm still excited. Oh, uh, really? So we got a Stunky over there. Very interesting. Um, what else do we have? Let's, let's run into another wild Pokemon here, just to see if it's something different. It is going to be a Machop. How hype would it be to find a shiny? Just because of the fact that it starts off so dark, and then the color would be revealed, it would be insane. Definitely going to run away from a Machop, because that thing going to punch the hell out of me, and Wooloo does not appreciate being punched. So, we should probably also use a potion here. I stocked up on a couple. Don't really have very many. We only have 14 regular potions, but we'll give one to Snowball. Get you back to full. All right. Another trainer. I've been studying foreign languages, computers, and Pokemon. You don't say. School girl, school girl Hannah. Got a Pancham. Not the best for us. So it looks like this is probably going to be a job for... Young Tootsie Pop. We'll bring you in. Level 13 Pancham. I love Pancham. Get that on nerve going. Not really too big of an issue. Nothing really is going to have berries anyway. Alright, so we take that nicely. And unfortunately, that's just going to send us out. I forgot that Circle Throw fucking does that. Well, brings us wipe right back to Wooloo. <laughs> and uh, that actually sucks. Let's go for, should we freaking click copycat? No, it's just gonna send me out anyway. I'm switching again. Please don't use circle throw again. Why did I forget that circle throw sends you out? That's, damn it. Okay, don't use it again. Circle throw, you bastard. Just don't bring me into Wooloo and we'll be fine. 
Stop it, Pancham. Alright, brings in Sobble, that is perfect. Now, you're about to pay the damn price, Pancham. At level 13, this thing's actually kind of scary. But Water Pulse does above half. We also get the confusion. We're getting pretty lucky on that. Hit yourself. Hit yourself. Damn it. Gets off another circle throw. We hate circle throw. This thing's just doing a lot of damage, too. And it's going to bring us into Lily. Well, I guess it is time to see what you got for us, Lily. We're going to go for a Razor Leaf here. It's not going to be able to knock this thing out, I don't think. We're going to get circle throw again. Circle thrown. And actually, it has a chance to hurt itself. Come on. Damn it! Circle throw is the most annoying thing ever. Gonna get a cotton down, which really does not matter at all. And we'll see who gets to gets to pick this damn thing off. It's gonna be satisfying. It's gonna be Cornelius who comes out in its first battle. Look at his little butt. We love it so much. We're just gonna go ahead and nuzzle ya. Take that. Not gonna do like anything, but we do get the para. This thing is gonna snap out of its confusion. Now it tackles. So now you decide to just tackle, huh? Well, Cornelius is going to get uh, a decent bit of uh, experience for doing this, I suppose. Tackle doesn't even knock it out. Damn it. The world's most difficult Pancham to kill of all time. Critical hit, too. Ouch. Finally. The most difficult battle ever. Pancham goes down. Schoolgirl. Been studying some freaking Pokemon, too. Swiper level 13. Tootsie 15. Nice. And Hannah's been defeated. What? I lost my Pokemon. Wasn't savvy enough. I totally read that incorrectly, but you get the point. Alright. We definitely are going to run back one last time to heal. Maybe not one last, but we should definitely... Oh, Jesus, Zigzagoon, you're scaring me. Oh, Tyrogue is fucking... That fool just runs quick. That little guy just gets going. My god. Scary. It makes me want to put that clip that... uh that audio that's like, run, dun, 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 when that thing comes chasing after you. That's probably a poor representation of what I'm talking about, but most of you probably get it. Alright, we're healed up. I Can we buy better potions at this point? I don't think we, I mean, regular potions are probably all we can get. What about other balls? No, only regular Pokeballs. Well, I think we're probably good on that for now. Anyway, back to ye old route. Mm -mm -mm. Look at the steam coming out. A lot of cool attention to detail. I'm all about it. I really wish... Oh, there's a wild Vulpix there. So we can see where that lady got hers. Interesting. I'm going to avoid... Oh my god, the Tyrog is scary. I'm going to avoid catching older generation stuff for now. I will eventually try to fill out the Pokedex. But for this Let's Play, we're probably only going to catch new things. Also, there was a TM up there on the top, which is cool. What do we have over yonder? More of those things we've seen so far, but there is another youngster. Instead of a Pokemon, I found a trainer. Let's get it, buddy. This is a good area for us to grind. I'm surprised that we haven't come across the first gym yet. It seems like it's relatively far away still as well. All right, in comes a Badu. Snowball, can we two-hit KO this thing with Tackle? I believe in you, even though it's going to absorb me. Luckily, it goes first, though. That's fine. And not quite a 2-hit KO. Could have just switched into Flying Boy, but it's fine. More heckin' absorbs. Why is there Badoos all over the place? This game really seems to like Badoo. I'm not complaining. Badoo is legit, but what is up with that? After this absorb, I don't think this tackle even kills. Damn it, Snowball. It sure does not. Or does it? Max damage? Yep, it's gonna kill it. Alright, later, Badoo tiny little fella. Some solid experience. Snowball level 13. We're moving on up. Next is a Gassifleur. So, so far this is the only generation 8 thing we've seen on this route. But that's fine. Now that we're level 13, how much damage are we doing with the tackle now? It has leafage. Right, which does hurt a little bit. Not even half though. We fine. The bulkiest wool boy in town. Ooh, I was going to Rapid Spin. Going to get that speed boost. So now it will be faster. Look at Rapid Spin. That was a cool, that was a really cool buff. Like, I'm glad that they introduced that. 
Not quite gonna knock it out. Gonna go for another rapid spin. After this speed boost, I'm sure it'll be faster now. Fast little fella. Nope, we're still going first. How slow is this thing? Jesus. All right. Walu takes it out. Look at our little sheep boy. Just growing up. Right, right in front of our eyes. Youch! Your Pokemon are way too strong. They sure are, friend. They sure are. All right. Uh, we are going to heal up Wooloo because we took a little bit of damage there. We have 13 potions. Just going to use one because it's pretty much to full. And let us continue. So here we have Sonya. What's happening? Hey, a gym challenger. You looked real ace out there during the opening ceremony. I sure did. Oh, but where's Hop? Uh, he went ahead. He can't sit still at all, can he? Guess he really wants to catch up on to his brother. I know, let me tell you something a bit interesting. Let's hear it. You see that building over there? It's a company owned by Chairman Rose. Really? Just past Route 3, there's a mine where they dig up ore. The building over there processes it into energy. Hmm, I don't know how I feel about that. In other words, the chairman is responsible for providing the Gallant region with its energy, too. This man is straight polluting. Can't say I really get him, but the chairman seems like a pretty brilliant guy, right? They're hyping this guy up too much. A little something for having a chin wag with me. It's an escape rope. Nice. We always accept free ex escape escape ropes. Just kidding. It's escape. I don't know why I said it. Like, yeah, the way the turf field is pretty long, but that's kind of a challenge on, in its own, right? In its own right. Yes, I, I can read and I can speak. I, I swear. Trust me. All right. Continuing on, we have ourselves. Ooh, ladies and gents, we got something new. What do we have here? Oh, it's these little guys with the wheels. Roly Coley, yes. Little Roly Poly boys. These things are badass. I actually really like these. Uh, we are gonna switch though. Not gonna be able to weaken that thing too well. Um, I don't know what type this thing is. Let's actually go into Lily here. Uh, we'll go for a Razor Leaf. It might just be pure rock type. I, I do not really know. One thing I, I know I am excited for, though, is seeing what this thing evolves into. It seems like it has a lot of potential uh, for an evolution. Reminds me of Rog and Rolla. Alright, let's go for a Razor Leaf, see how much this does. If it knocks it out, these things are everywhere, so it's fine. But we would love to see if we can catch this bad boy. And, alright, Razor Leaf knocks it down perfectly. We're just gonna go ahead and toss a Pokeball at you. Let's actually use a Heal Ball, because if we do catch this thing, I want to—I would like to start using this thing. And it would be nice to get a Heal Ball on it, just because Heal Balls look cool. And it heals you up, so that's perfect. And click. Yeah, baby. First try. Got ourselves a Roly Coley. That is nice. A little bit of experience as well. What is up with the Roly Coley? Most of its body has the same composition as coal. Fittingly, this Pokemon was discovered in coal mines about 400 years ago. Uh, so, it is a rock type purely. We are going to give you a nickname. The first thing I can think of is naming you Nugget. So, this is now our little Nuggy boy. Alright. We are going to add this to the party. And I do believe we're going to switch something. I'm sorry to say it, but we're going to switch out Cornelius. At level 12, you're the weakest link at this point. Maybe we'll come back to Yamper later, but we're going to add Nugget, because that thing is freaking awesome. And, uh, alright guys, let's actually head up over this way. Just kidding, there was an item over there, but we're going to have to do it next time, ladies and gents. We've ran out of time, but make sure you stay tuned. Thank you guys so much for watching, don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed. I'm having a fantastic time with this game. There's so much more for us to explore on this route, and then we get a battle with Jim soon. It's going to be great. Peace out, guys.